Hey, Justin Herring here with Yeah Local, and today I'm going to do a review of Bright Local, the SEO uh, reporting platform that uh, can help you if you're a small business owner or uh, an agency, it can really help you grow your business easily. So um, I'm just going to go through real quick and kind of show you what it does. So it does, it'll help you with rankings, your Google My Business listing, uh, you can monitor reviews, you can build citations, uh, and there's some other local SEO tools in there. So what I'm going to do is just jump in and, and walk you through uh, kind of the dashboard. So when you get in here and you set up either your business or a client's business, um, you'll see in here, basically, this is the location dashboard that kind of gives you an overview of everything as far as your links and website authority, um, your overview of Google rankings, your reviews, citations, Google Analytics, Google My Business, Twitter, Facebook, just gives you a quick overview of what's going on. Obviously, you'll want to jump in and get a little bit more details, but you can change the settings on here to show what you want or not want. Um, and then you can also, if you want to, you know, download it as a PDF or what's kind of cool is you can, um, you can use an external dashboard um, that can help you uh, send this out to yourself or your team as well. So that helps. And then when you jump in, so you've got a whole list of stuff over here on the right side where you can jump in. And so search rank rankings are going to be one of your number one things you want to look at. And Bright Local does a great job of this as far as having accurate rankings that will allow you to see your Google local listings. It also works well for national campaigns as far as showing rankings there as well. But you can see here, so what it does is it shows the, it gives you an overview of everything in one place, which is awesome because it, you know, trying to move around to different uh, areas is not that easy. So again, it'll show you that your rankings say number one in the map pack, and then like on here, if it shows you're ranking number four or uh, number five, that actually means you're ranking number one or number two in organic. So it counts. The only thing that's a little bit different is it does count the Google uh, Maps rankings in, or like listings into the rankings. So if you had three Maps listings in here, number four would be your organic listing. OK, um, let me see if it'll. Uh, pull this up and show this. You can kind of see what's awesome too is it allows you to go directly to the search result. <clears throat> Usually it's pretty accurate. Like on this one, maybe the search result changed, uh, but you can see that the result in there uh, is showing up number two for that one. So, which this helps you out again, depending on when you ran your ranking report is going to be how accurate it is. Um, so this is awesome. Again, you can put these in keyword groups, tracker groups. I, I usually just use the rankings. And then secondly, you do get up to a hundred keywords per, uh, location, uh, rankings. So like this rankings table is only a hundred keywords. Usually I, I use, you know, a hundred to 300 keywords, uh, per, uh, location or client. And so what you, what I usually do is, is set it up to where it's like, yeah, local one, yeah, local two, yeah, local three, or if it's, you know, who, whatever your client is, you can set up so that then this would be 300 total keywords that you could track. And you'll see for the price, this is, you know, crazy good. Um, I've paid upwards of, you know, 500 to $700 for just looking at rankings. Um, and so this is really accurate, really good. This is one of the best uh, items that they have. You can also do citation tracking. So you can look at this, see what, if there's any big citations, if you've got any errors. Um, a lot of times we'll have business er errors because business name errors, because we change, we'll change the name or the company uh, name and the Google listing and sometimes the phone number. So sometimes that does uh, throw a kink in it, but you can see in here, here's some listings I could go after. I'm not big on getting a ton of different citations. So, you know, you can get in here and do it, but I'll show you the best way for this to work is really you just go over here and we use this aggregator submissions here and you can send out to all the big agencies for roughly around $55. And this will get you out there, get you all the citations you really need. And if you want to add some more later, you can, but it's uh, 55 bucks. You really only have to do it once unless you move. Um, and it'll get you put into every single one of these big uh, areas. So that's, again, that's a, a bargain. Um, <clears throat> and if you want to do a citation campaign, you can set it up right there. Again, you can go in and look at your reviews and ratings. This will give you a good overview. You can look at the reviews by site, reviews uh, by rating, and then it'll also give you a summary kind of showing you uh, what reviews and how recent you got those. Um, and if you want to view a public report, it's good. So you can click on this, like look at the uh, reviews by site. So we focus on Google, you know, Google local. 
Uh, so that's why we have all our reviews there. But if you, you have other sites, you can pull them all up and see it. So again, that, that helps out. Then you can go into the Google My Business. This is really one of the awesome uh, features of Bright Local. And what it does is it gives you a summary so you can see everything all in one place um, and you can see all your stats, your insights, um, and they, they pull this all in directly from your Google My Business listing so you don't have to you know log in and see exactly what's happening. So this is really, really cool. You can see the reviews on the listing. You can see if there's any duplicates. So you can see right away, oh, I do have a couple duplicates. I need to change that. Uh, you can look at the NAP comparison. So you can see here, we actually changed it a little bit. Um, and then you can see the other ranking factors. Uh, again, this does not mean that if you don't do this, that you won't rank. It's just these are other factors that may help it. Um, and then what's uh, kind of cool is you can get in here and you can see a comparison uh, of your competition and see where you're ranking right now. So you can see we're ranking number two uh, in the maps. Um, and then it'll kind of come down here and give you an idea of what citations and what places those competitors have that you don't have. OK, so if you're not ranking, you can go in here and do this again. I don't know if it's going to be, you know, this isn't the end all be all of, you know, if you do this, you're going to start ranking, but gives you a good overview. And then I really like this top five category. So this will show you the other categories. So if there's other categories that your competitors are uh you know, ranking for, you usually can't see those. And so now it'll tell you, and a lot of times there'll be a list of like 10 categories in here that you can add into your Google listing. So that's, that's pretty neat. Um, the other thing you can do is you can run a local search audit that will kind of run your whole website through every single one of these, um, these items. And it'll tell you what you're doing good at, what pages you have, and you can run these for yourself, your clients. This is like, this is a pretty sweet report uh, that you can send over and it really helps out. And you can see up here that it goes through the rankings. Oh, let's go back up. So it goes through um, the rankings, the listings, the reviews, the GMB, on-site social, and then it kind of tells you what everything is. So really helps out there. Um, you've got the Google Analytics. So this is, this is pretty good. The only thing that's missing on the Google Analytics is really a comparison. So you can't actually compare dates. So if you wanted to compare this month to last month, you're not able to do it in this system. You would have to do it manually. You'd have to look at, you know, custom dates from this time to this time. It doesn't do it like in Google Analytics, but it gives you everything you need here as far as channels, where most of your traffic's coming from, uh, searches, uh, referrals, mobile, goals, all that good stuff. And then if you want to set up your social campaigns, you can. Again, this is not going to be a social media management platform. It's just going to give you a... Uh, quick overview of how you're doing, what posts you've done, uh, what your retreats, retweets, likes, all that stuff. And then you can get down here to the location details. And this is going to allow you to set up how you want to be seen, um, you know, what you want it to, to say. Um, then you can update the location if you want. And then here's the settings. So you can actually have this email to you weekly if you want. And so it'll it'll be in here where you say, hey, I want it, I want it to come over weekly. And then you update the settings and they will send you a weekly uh, report. So um, that's kind of a quick brief overview. There's a couple other things in here. They've got a, you know, uh, you can go back into the rank tracker. You can go into, they've got a review, review biz, a review flow. Uh, they're coming out with a couple other lead generation stuff. Uh, but for the most part, you know, what I showed you is what you'll be using. Um, and then you can look at the pricing here. The pricing is just ridiculously cheap for, what you're getting um, just even on the single business um, if you're doing it build uh, monthly at $29 a month for you're really getting um, you got three search ranking reports so that means you actually have you have 300 keywords that you can actually go after so that is crazy good for $29 you can shop that around and see but most people will charge way more than that for uh, all of this stuff plus you're getting all these keywords keyword reports, uh, you know, citation. So you can actually go, you can go in there and pull the reports a bunch of different times. You can do a couple Google My Business audits. We use the SEO Pro. This gives us a ton. I mean, again, this is giving you 10,000 keywords that you're able to track, which for $79, that is, you, you, there's nowhere to find that anywhere else. Um, again, you may not need that much, but you may need some of these other things. 
any of these are really good options. And again, if you need to do something that's just off the cuff citation or some custom packages, they can do it. But uh, again, this is for the money. Even if it was more expensive, it would be worth it. So test it out, try it. They give you a free trial. It's 14 days. Just click the link below uh, either this video or on our uh, blog post and you can try it for free for 14 days and see uh, how you like it. But it's uh, definitely recommended.